Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave. Today's video was inspired by a recent coaching session about how to respond after getting ghosted. Now you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. Ghosting is an extremely simple concept. They were too afraid to be honest with you. Yet we try to justify the shit like it's some sort of rocket science. There are a multitude of reasons you get ghosted. And likely the reason why you're so salty about it is because of how unexpected it was, right? It's like showing up to your job tomorrow and finding out the whole fucking building has been cleared out and the company was a scam in the first place. You're confused, frustrated, angry, but your biggest concern? How the hell did you not notice all of the signs in the first place? Because for as much as you knew, all the dates, the calling and the texting, more importantly, the time that you spent, you ain't getting a return on that investment, right? And that's what really got you pissed off. Not only did you get emotionally invested into that man or woman, you begin wondering if there was something that you did wrong. Were you too needy? Is it something you said? Did you do something? Did you scare them off? Were you too aggressive? Not assertive enough? Stop driving yourself crazy running through the thousands of scenarios about what you could have done and start letting them live with that decision that they made and start thinking about it this way. You both got a free 30 day trial on one another and they wanted to return the order. Doesn't mean that they didn't like you. Doesn't mean you weren't a great person, but maybe just maybe you weren't their cup of tea. And guess what? That's perfectly okay because the love of your life doesn't usually fall out of the sky. Most of the time, you gotta go through some sort of heartbreak to know what real love is. Sometimes you gotta deal with a whole lot of bullshit before you find the one who's truly worth your time, worth the investment, and worth the energy you're willing to put into them. That doesn't mean the sex wasn't great or you're some kind of shitty person. It means it wasn't the right one for you. We have this habit sometimes of trying to manipulate the situation so the outcome comes in our favor. So you start chasing them, feeling the need to validate the reasons why. When in all honesty, does it even matter at this point? Is there anything they could possibly tell you that would make you feel any better. Not to add, if they are that type of man or woman to do that type of shady shit to you, why would you want to be involved with someone who has that lack of accountability anyway? Likely that shit would have never worked out because you would have woke up months or years from now and not even recognized who they were in the first place. So accept it. Embrace the hurt. Start letting the shit go and begin having new experiences with someone new who will actually meet you at the maturity level you're currently at. You owe that much to yourself. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and join a team that's always going to push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.